Hey everyone, it's Chrissy from Everyday Survival Gear, and today we are reviewing the Convoy S2 Plus in purple, violet, Barney swag, the Hamburglar. No, the Hamburglar is the black and white stripy robber thing. Grimace, that's his name. We'll call this Barney. So here it is. It's a uh, basically a stock standard S2 Plus in a purple slash violet color. Probably the best looking S2 Plus on the market, I would say. Um, probably better than Desert Tan, personally. I would buy this compared to all the other ones. I could probably get the orange one and like hide it in my beard and use it as camo. Use my beard as cover and just kind of do it up because they're both orange. So I could probably do that. But yeah, so this is the uh, purple S2 Plus. Um, this light was sent to me like almost a year ago by Fast Tech. And um, I never done a video on it because I've got like a thousand S2 Plus videos up there. Well, not a, literally a thousand. I've got a couple, but um, but I figured, seeing there's an influx of purple lights coming onto the market, um, and obviously the S2 Plus wasn't the first one, but it's the first one of a series of lights now. So now we're gonna we, now we might even end up seeing a F3WA in one of these. Um, not sure if they had the D4. But they have had the D4 in a lot of colors and the D4S. So yeah, so this is the original and probably the best, you reckon? Well, yeah, actually, you know what? We're going to make it the best because um, we've got this here and I've got this here. Where is it? Ah, 20 mil um, aluminum alloy. And we will turn this into a heat sink and we'll turn this into a triple. How does that sound? Next video up, or maybe the one after the next video. Damn, that's cold. It's like 7 degrees in here. Alright guys, so here it is. The Convoy S2 Plus. Is this thing going to focus? It's not going to focus. Already back at it. What are you doing, buddy? Focus. There we go. Now we got it. So here it is. The Convoy S2 Plus. Uh, in purple, violet, whatever you want to call it. Um, my one is the Cree XML2 uh, T6 3B, which is a 5000K tint. Uh, it's still using the standard uh, 2.8 amp, 7, no, sorry, 8x7135 Nang driver or AMC driver, whichever one you want to call it. Um, still got the two group sets with low, medium, high and the low, medium, high SOS. Um, I will remind you, you can get this with the Biscotti firmware. Um, you can pretty much option these out with pretty much anything that you want now if you just ask Simon uh, My one I did get from fast tech. So if you want to check out the link down below to buy one uh, fast tech do also have different options uh, Also, um, also it's not too hard, you know to just buy the uh, SMO reflector and change it From an SMO to an OP or whatnot um, stock it comes with a OP re reflector uh, No AR code of glass stock because it is just a basic model uh, S2 plus um, also you do get the metal towel cap but you don't actually get a towel cap light in it my one has one in there now but I brought that extra uh, may only cost like a dollar thirty to a dollar forty US on fast tech usually I buy them and then I change the color LED inside um, yeah so that's pretty much most of the specs I guess it doesn't really say much about the um, anodizing because it is purple I'm not sure how they anodized it um, not sure how hard wearing it's going to be because I did get a few little marks here. You can see it is a little bit chipped there. Nothing uh, too serious. Um, you know, the same as uh, all the other S2 Pluses with the 8x7135 chips. It's doing almost 3 amps, so it should be good for about a 1,000 lumens. Somewhere around about there. Um, it still weighs about the same. I think it's a little bit heavier, actually. It's 91 grams. So, yeah. Um, it's kind of like a personal opinion or preference to like which S2 Plus you like because I quite like the purple also obviously I have the clear here um, let's put that out of focus now so we got that here and then I've got a couple of greys which I've turned into um, triples that's a triple and that's also a triple look at how bright the towel caps are on these ones freaking bright as free right see bright towel caps um, yeah, one thing that I noticed with these um, S2 Pluses that come with the metal towel caps is you can't go back and put on the rubber towel caps. 
Um, I did try because I don't mind the rubber towel caps. They look pretty cool. And they also, they let out more light than what these ones do. But um, no, you can't go back and uh, put the rubber ones on, which is a shame. It's a smaller di diameter hole. Uh, it doesn't really matter, uh, which also means you can't put metal towel caps on these ones because that's too big of a hole. But you probably could like get a washer and fit out a washer, but then it's going to look pretty shit. So I wouldn't really bother. Um, yeah, so I'll move these S2 Pluses out of the way of the family. Um, all you get in the package is the S2 Plus. You get the nice lanyard. These are pretty decent la lanyards. They're on the better quality side. The old S2 Pluses only came with these ones. So you can see that that lanyard is obviously much better quality than... Um, maybe this lanyard is much better quality than that one. Bloody hell. Um, and yeah, um, comes in the nice white box. That's pretty much it. Um, everything else, you know, if you kind of want to spec it out, you can either do it up yourself or you can ask Simon to change around parts if you want to go on AliExpress. All the parts are available to change if you would like to go on FastTech and have a look. You know, you can buy AR coat of glass for, for about a dollar, towel cap for like a dollar fifty, and that's pretty much all you need to change. And you got like a super cool light. Anyway, stock it works fine. I freaking love this light stock. I love it so much that I don't use it. That's how much I love it, because I don't want to scratch it. <sighs> Alright guys, so now we're outside with the uh, Convoy S2 Plus. The Violet Edition. You can see the lights on. But for some reason, this bloody camera does not like to adjust to low light levels like the Sony's did. And I cannot wait to get rid of it, which hopefully soon I can. Um, yeah. <laughs> ah, we'll go upper mode. So that's low mode. You can see that it's on, but barely. We've got upper mode, that's medium mode, why is it flickering? I do not know. I think the battery I have inside is to protect the Panasonic and it's a little bit too big. Oh, it is cold but outside here. Um, yeah, so I think, maybe not exactly next video, but one of the next videos I'll, um, I'll actually turn this into a triple um, and leave it as a shelf queen, I reckon. Because it is a really nice colour, so kind of like having it in your pocket and it's going to get scratched kind of does suck. I know I'm being soft, but... Uh. <laughs> um, we'll go to high mode now, see if the camera adjusts out. So that's high mode. Um, you can see, you know, from this T6 3B 5000K tint um, XML2, there is easily more than enough light to light up my backyard. Super wide beam. It doesn't really get to the tree at 100 meters, unfortunately, because it does have a OP style reflector. Um, and it is a pretty wide LED, being an XML2. But yeah, it does more than enough to light up their backyard. More than enough for pretty much any single need that I'll ever use it for. 1000 lumens is plenty. Um, but we will compare it to a few other S2 Pluses and see how it does. Actually, that'll be pretty interesting. It kind of looks a bit like, I don't know, not foggy on the camera, but the camera looks a bit weird on my phone. Yeah. Okay, guys, so this is the Violet S2 Plus on to the left uh, with the uh, XML in neutral wire tint, of course. Uh, and this is a uh, Convoy S2 Plus clear with the SMO reflector, smooth metal oxide, and the XPL HRI in cold white. So you can see the tint difference is quite massive that should be on the highest mode right yes yeah that's the highest mode both on the highest modes um you can see a very big difference in uh beam pattern too um although this s2 plus the clear one isn't going to throw like a k it's still a pretty massive difference in um tints uh next up we'll compare it to the uh triple sst20 in cold white i want to see how it does compared to that tint I'm quite interested to see myself. I haven't taken these both outside yet. I'm still here. Just going to show you that you don't even need my triple S2 Plus on because that is how bright the light is. Like, let me just walk down here. Not sure how much you guys can see. I was just about four, four meters away. So this is the Violet S2 Plus with the um, XML on and then we'll put the uh, ultra bright 
uh, triple on with the SST. So that's low. I guess medium, high. So that's it on its highest mode. So you can see, although the S2 Plus does get, obviously, it's not going to be anywhere near as bright. It still does more than enough to light up the backyard. So that's the triple. That's in cold white tint. And that's the uh, S2 Plus. So, you know, in this small size, smallish size yard, it's not exactly small, is it? Um, you can see you don't even need a triple, really. Uh, this is the very last uh, beam shot. The Convoy S2 Plus. Violet here and luminous SST 20s in the 4000K 95 CRA beauty that it is. That's the that's the highest mode there. So you can see the neutral white Cree and the 4000K 95 CRA SST 20. Both super bright lights. So that's the uh, luminous SST 20 there, and that's the XML2 side by side you can see um, the uh, 4000k tint is still quite a lot warmer than the 5000k neutral white from Cree eh. well that's another review done um, I hope you enjoyed it because it's like 8 degrees outside here and I'm not sure why this camera looks so weird today I did drop it the other week and ever since then it's been a bit funky um, anyways guys um, I've got another review coming up in a few days or next week sometime soon uh, and hopefully we can turn this purple S2 Plus into a uh, triple or maybe even a quad if you've been on K Domain lately they've got quad, quad boards now so if I can order a quad within the next week I might even think about making it a quad anyway guys I uh, hope you enjoyed the video as always like and subscribe and thanks for watching